This weekend, as we continued our series called Flip Turns, Robert talked about how a man named Josiah had to break the things in his world that were hindering his own spiritual growth. Josiah wanted to work his way back to God, so he physically tore down, defiled, and burned the idols around him. It left things in shambles, but it allowed for a new start. Sometimes we have to break down temptations in our lives in order to move forward from them. Have you ever felt that way? Like the only way around something is to actually break through it? So how do you move forward when part of your life seems broken? There's a Japanese pottery technique called kintsugi. It's the method in which things that are broken get repaired and made into something more beautiful. For example, if a bowl shatters, they use gold to bind the broken pieces back together and create a bowl even more stunning than the first. Even the most shattered pieces are used to make that new bowl. God does that for the broken pieces of our lives as well. When things break, we don't just dust the brokenness under the rug. We ask God to use those broken pieces and to build us back up into something better. God can take the old and make it new. When Josiah broke down the idols around him, he asked God to help him and to use his people to use their mistakes to grow in their faith. This week, let God show you ways in which the most broken parts of you can be used to grow, just like he did with Josiah.